This classic video game villain has a real-life kill count. Gamers today might not remember Evil Otto, the villain from the 1982 game Berserk, but back in the day he served as a quarter destroyer in the popular arcade title, and anyone who played the game will remember the ear-crushing, crunched-up sounds heralding his arrival. Anyway, details can be a little bit sketchy, but Evil Otto was involved in some way in the deaths of two teenagers in the 1980s. This isn't creepy past the rhetoric, either. Peter Bukowski and Edward Clark Jr. both passed away in incidents involving a Berserk arcade machine at Friar Tuck's game room in Holland, Illinois. Bukowski having a heart attack immediately following playing the game and Clark Jr. getting into an altercation with another youth of the arcade over a token he had found and used to, you guessed it, play Berserk, leading to him being stabbed and ultimately passing away from his injuries. Now I know it sounds way cooler to say, ooh, cursed arcade cabinet, but I'd be being disingenuous if I said Evil Otto was actually just running around killing people. The reality is Peter Bukowski had some pretty bad undiagnosed heart conditions, and the strain of the long walk in the winter weather was just tragically too much for his body to take. Edward Clark Jr. was a victim of something that never needed to happen and was a total tragedy. Both very serious things, and it's really sad they were taken so young. There are legends of a third Berserk death, however, but details are a little bit more shaky there. Still, if you want to get sensationalist for a moment, it's crazy to think that.